Great straight rep. Our next endorsed candidate is David Rosa. He is a candidate for the office of U.S. Representative District 20 serving Bear County, the heart of Bear County. He has lived in the district for 12 years with his wife and three children. As a businessman, Mr. Rosa has owned, managed, operated, and worked in small businesses and large corporations. He serves as lector and altar server in his parish, Our Lady of Atonement, and is actively involved as a track coach and substitute teacher. Would you please welcome Mr. David Rosa. Well, with that kind of introduction and who I've been following, I have a quick question for you. Who has heard of my name? All right. Well, <laughs> I was just telling my mom, we have a 71% likability, but only 40% people know who I am. <laughs> That's what we're here to change. That's what this is about. I am a product of the American dream. My father worked in a steel mill to provide for my mom and my five siblings. My parents instilled in us the belief that this country was a place where our faith, our education, and hard work would be rewarded, not taken away. I carried that belief through high school. The U.S. Air Force Academy and Loyola University where I graduated with a degree in economics. All right, some love. <laughs> as a small business owner and as an independent insurance agent in the district, I've become aware through my work experiences about fiscal responsibility with taxes, Social Security, and Medicare. Working with the large corporations that Al referred to in New Jersey, New York, and right here at home in San Antonio, I know by God's grace that I will be effective in getting the economy back on track. <laughs> Having also worked the honor and the blessing in education, yes, I'm a substitute teacher. I was an instructional assistant, and I'm highly qualified to be a special education teacher. The importance of education is a priority for me. Our children right now need to learn to love and respect themselves. And it's only by bringing God back into the family. Each and every young person should learn to love themselves by that love of God and by what we demand from them. As a coach, they can only say, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, coach, or no, coach. Pretty simple right? That should extend to the classroom and the home. How many people here have served our country and remember those five responses? Yes, sir. No, sir. Sir, may I ask a question? Sir, make, may I make a statement? And when you heard that wonderful word, why? No excuse. It was pretty simple. You took that oath to defend this country from foreign and domestic enemies. Our veterans, you need to be that leadership for us. When I was at the Air Force Academy, I remember my honor code. I will not lie, I will not cheat, and I will not tolerate anyone amongst us, even the current administration. We must do everything possible for our children. District 20, the honor that I have with my family to run for District 20, is the heart of our active military and our veterans. We must renew our commitment to our American heroes who are fighting, and I'm saying the word fighting, the war against terrorism, and we must keep our commitment to our veterans who have defended this country, our country, your country, with their lives. Most importantly, I'm a husband of 26 years and a loving father of three children. My lovely bride could be here today. Her father is experiencing some surgery, and so keep him in your prayers. But we met when we were seven years old. So I'm going to let you do the math. We've known each other 44 years. 
We're going to be blessed by God's grace to celebrate our, 12, our 26th wedding anniversary on October the 12th. But I said three children. God actually blessed us with eight pregnancies. Four were miscarriages, and one was our baby daughter, Sarah Marie, who was born and died from a rare lung disease when she was only three months old. That was 13 years ago, just Sunday. And my treasurer, Dr. Roberto, tells me to tell you that story to show the commitment that I made as a Catholic when I took my marriage vows to God, to my bride, to my church, to my family, that no matter what, I was going to be that man, that leader, and no matter how much it hurts, I continue on every day and I'm going to fight for you. When I'm asked why I'm running for this open seat, I say that I'm doing this for the future generations. My children are now learning how important that right leadership is to this country. As they grow older, like we've gotten, <laughs> start paying taxes and living their lives, I pray and I hope that I can show them that anything is possible and our economy, government, and world standing is stronger than ever. I'm going to end with this. I'm an everyday blue-collar American. My wife and I work hard to pay our son's college tuition, and we go to church every week praying for God to give us the persistence, the perseverance, and the joy to continue providing for our other children, Maurice and Daniel, that are here with us. And I hope with your help and your prayers to be the next U.S. representative for District 20. Thank you, and God bless you.